Hello, and welcome to the Get Started Quickly with Case Solutions demonstration. IBM Business Automation Workflow includes an enterprise case management capability where an entity, such as a person or an investigation, is governed over a long-running life cycle, including sub-processes and individual tasks. Every step of the case is also stored as a record in the included content management system for history and analysis. The scenario for today's demonstration will be a privacy-based GDPR subject access request, where the case will manage the life cycle of our internal investigation, including searches across multiple organizations and systems. There are multiple ways to trigger the start of a case. In this scenario, we'll use the data capture route where the arrival of a document will trigger the start of a case. The document has a few form fields that are entered automatically. In this case, we'll simulate those as well. Now our case knowledge workers are ready to move on to the validate and search phase. The list here is split into multiple in baskets of different types of work. Opening the first work item, we can see the life cycle across the top. We're in the first phase. We can see the structured information from the document on the left and the document itself for review on the right. Accessing the list of searches required, the caseworker is now ready to launch and start that investigation. Switching roles to a searcher, they open the first work item in their list. Now searches can take some time to complete. In this demonstration, they can review the data and we are assuming they previously performed the search and they are uploading the resulting report here as you can see into the case record. Once the document is added, it is listed there for review. Comments are also available to track case and document level. And then the search can be marked as complete, so the case will move back to our original case manager to review the results. Now this particular case manager, Paula, is ready to hit the road for the day to catch her train, but that's okay. IBM Business Automation Workflow includes a complete mobile application ready for her use on the road. She can look at the same in basket and see her cases that are open, view the details, properties, open tasks for those particular cases, and she can additionally review the documentation results in their native format using a mobile document viewer. After reviewing the documentation, as well as the comments on the case, the case manager is ready to move this case to the next step in its workflow, legal review. Marking this as such on the mobile app, the case is now out of her work queue and she can move on with her trip home. Back in the office the next day, she can see that legal review is commencing on this case and the case manager might want to review and additionally make some edits to documentation. Having access to native content viewers, the case manager is able to highlight documentation, put in comments or other annotations, and even do role-based redaction so that her case team can work together while not compromising security. There are multiple other collaboration methods built into IBM Business Automation Workflow. Let's take a look at a few. First, the case manager will add quick tasks to this particular case that can then be checked off later in a simple to-do list. For greater flexibility, custom tasks may also be added by the case manager at any time. Now the case knowledge workers are ready for their final phase to publish and close the case. The history of a case is very important from a record keeping standpoint. Along the top we see our histogram and the bottom an overall Gantt chart. As we zoom in to the different tasks, we can see how they progressed over time, who's completed them, and what has been done, all as a persistent record for the case. Now let's take a look at how one can build a case solution such as this. Using a sub-process of privacy like incident management, let's create a brand new solution in the case designer. We'll provide a name and click on the OK button and we're ready to design our new case solution. First, we add properties to the solution to represent data, which can be reused across multiple case solutions. Roles, such as a customer service rep, are also added, and default in baskets are created, which can be customized as needed. Pages are also available out of the box or can be configured using a UI designer. Finally, we create a case type to bring together all the artifacts just mentioned. To complete our case type, we'll create one task that is automatically launched with the case, and then deploy it to the runtime. All within a matter of just a couple minutes, we can see a case created from scratch. 
Let's add a new case, specify the two values, then search for that case in the runtime, open it, and check to ensure that the automatically launched task was indeed launched using the work list. The benefits of IBM Business Automation Workflow are clear through increased automation on a single workflow platform, driving straight through processing with easy and use integrations all in context, and scaling end-to-end -end improvement through tools like analytics that will allow your organization to achieve higher revenue per employee. Thank you for watching the demo.